So what's wrong with World Financial Group? The answer is nothing. And this is based on my opinion and my you know, almost 20 years experience with this company. I'm the author of the only book ever written on the company, Unauthorized, The Truth About World Financial Group. And, you know, people say all the time they have negative comments about this company and they say, well, you know, Seabold's a shill for the company or he's being paid by the company to make these videos. I'm not. Here's why I'm making these videos. I know a lot about this company. If you've seen the documentary I did on the company based on the book, you know that. I've known all the leaders, all the presidents, all the board members over the years. And so I'm an outsider that's kind of an insider. And the reason I'm doing these videos is I want to help entrepreneurs. You know, here's the bottom line. You know, I'm almost 60 years old. I've had my chance in business. I had opportunities. I had, I've had offices all over the world, businesses all over, and I've been very fortunate. But you know what? One of the things that you'll learn as you, as you get older, I think anyway, for me, is you wanna give back. And I wanna give back to entrepreneurs. That's why I have this channel. I'm trying to give back to entrepreneurs that are starting out that, that haven't had the breaks I've had in their life and haven't had the opportunities I've had. And frankly, World Financial Group is one of the best opportunities especially for people that don't start out with a lot of money or big degrees behind them or rich families or anything like that. This is a chance for the little guy to, for three or $400, whatever it costs basically to get licensing and start up the business, they have the chance to make a, an income that they would never have in any other way. That's why I'm doing this. That's my motivation. People ask all the time, you'll hear negative comments, oh, you know, you're always defending World Financial Group. It's one opportunity for entrepreneurs that, that don't have, again, these other opportunities are a lot of money. Now, what's wrong with World Financial Group? There's nothing wrong with World Financial Group. It's just a company. And so why do people write all these negative, terrible things about the company? Most likely it's because they had a bad experience with a leader in the company, and so they equate that with World Financial Group. It's like saying, well, my Burger King right down the street here from the mansion um, has lousy service, which they actually do. It's terrible. It's the worst service in a Burger King I've ever seen anywhere in the world. But I wouldn't go online and complain about Burger King. It's just that store has bad service. So if you get the wrong leader in this company, and they vary in quality greatly, okay? If you get the wrong leader, you may have a bad experience. If you don't go to work and do what they say, you might have a bad experience, you know? Um, if people laugh at you because you're starting a business, you might have a bad experience, but it's not World Financial Group's problem. It's not that they're a scam or a cult or anything like that. No, are they a perfect company? Of course they're not a perfect company. Let me tell you, I've consulted for Johnson & Johnson, Caterpillar, GlaxoSmithKline, Merck, Microsoft, you name it. I've been a consultant for some of the biggest companies in the world and they're not perfect either, you know? But if you wanna buy stock in those, in those big boy blue chips, you gotta have a boatload of money. You don't have to have a boatload of money to start at World Financial Group. That's why I'm doing this to help entrepreneurs. Hey, this might not be the opportunity for you. Maybe you don't like this kind of opportunity. God bless you, do something else. But this is just one opportunity for the right person. But I just wanna wrap with, and this is again, just my one person's opinion, based on a lot of experience, but still one person's opinion. Your experience in this company will be based on the leader with whom you work. Here's my advice, choose carefully. Do your homework about these leaders. Some are very, very aggressive. Too aggressive for most people. Some are very, very passive. Some are really into more the financial um, <clears throat> literacy piece of this, of this puzzle. And some are into recruit, recruit, recruit. And none of them are right, none of them are wrong. It's just different ways of doing things. Choose the leader, do your homework before you jump in with a leader to make sure that leader fits your philosophy, your ethics, you know, your attitude, pretty much everything, because that's gonna make the difference um, in the quality of the experience that you actually have.